It's a tricky diagnosis. The young man actually turns out to be me. He's not that young. He's 28, he's fit and well, and he's just been at a spa. In that spa, he reports that he went to the sauna, and in fact, it was an infrared sauna. Any closer? Fine. So now you're at F1 level, and essentially the answer is erythema ab igne. So essentially, I think this used to be a much more common diagnosis before we had central heating. It was seen in the elderly. The rash itself is caused by chronic low exposure to infrared radiation, as well as sort of heat, so satellite fires and typical history. The rash itself is a blanching erythema, which means redness, and it's got this reticulated pattern, which is like lace-like. Um, which is a term we use in medicine quite a lot. I'll link to uh, Derm NZ, which is my favorite place to go for any kind of rash. Uh, but just having a little read, the other thing to think about is levido reticularis for those medics out there, uh, which is actually confusingly caused by cold, but that can be a sign of sort of more systemic disease. Differentiating the two is actually fairly difficult from what I can tell online. So if you do see it in clinical practice and you don't have a, uh, I guess, clear history of infrared